Hello guys, I'm Amit. Couple of days ago on one of my video of how to remember the sections for TDS, one of my subscribers commented, is there any tricks for information technology app? Well, I did have some tricks on by which I remember the sections. I used to understand the concept of each and every section and relate it and group it. And that's the, how I used to remember it. So I am making this video and sharing that trick with you all. And one of the things which I would like to share is on some of the tricks, on some of the sections, I was not able to figure out anything, any logic. So I used some of the tricks given by uh, some of the private tutors or well, faculties in that field. But I would like to tell you that I'm not promoting that and I'm not saying they are good. Either, and also I'm not saying they are bad because I did my schooling or my uh, learning by myself. I did self-study for that subject. So I cannot comment on them. So with that disclaimer, let's start. Part 7 Shrupi or J or both, what next? Till now the whole section was dealing with either some monetary fine or imprisonment or both. But what next? Next is confiscation. Whatever good, whatever computer, computer resources or the system that are being used or the devices that are being used to do an offense are being confiscated. That is 76. 76 confiscation. Now since they are being uh, confiscated, they are type of an evidence. But we need some examiners, some persons to examine that evidence. So 79A, central government to notify examiner of electronic evidence. So, so read this in that play that floor flavor that 76 is the confiscation and that good needs to be examined. So we have 79A in which the central government is going to notify the examiners of electronic evidence. Then there is one section that has been missed out that is 79, the A, but that is included in the A contract list, which is that exemption from liability for intermediaries in certain cases that is exemption uh, if you recall this slide in the last section 79 exemption from liability of intermediaries in certain cases so 76 confiscation 79a central government to notify examiner of electronic evidence now in miscellaneous section there are three 84b 84c 85 84b is boost b for boost punishment for abatement of offense if you are abating someone for the offense, then the punishment is in the 84B. Boost means encourage, abatement, abate someone to do the offense. Okay? Then 84C, can't do it, but I will try. You haven't committed the offense as you know, as an offense, but you are trying to do that. You are a, you, you did an attempt to commit, but you are not able to penetrate the system, but you did try. So for that 84C is applicable. Well, 84B, punishment for abatement, B for boost, C, can't do it, but I will try, means attempt to commit. 85, 85 is for offenses by companies. In case of offenses by companies, who is going to be liable? Who is the person who is being liable, who needs to require to uh, suffer? Who is going to be punished? So a quick recap. 76, confiscation, the confiscated goods are going to be checked by an examiner. That examiner will be notified by central government through section 79A. 79A contract list examining the intermediaries. 84B, B for boost means abating, abatement of offense. 84C, can't do it but I will try, means attempt to commit the offense. And finally 85, that is offenses by companies. And this is the last uh, part for ISCA. Yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Happy reading, all the best and thank you. Baby out.